be a pro athlete, 99% of the time, you got to be in tip top shape. There are some players out there in that 1% who can get away with the dad bod look and play some pretty good ball, but most of the time, overweight and athlete are two words that don't typically go together in the same sentence. Welcome back to the channel, where today we're going to take a deep dive into some of the most overweight NBA players of all time. Let's get right into it. First up, we've got Jerome Big Snacks James. And Big Snacks sounds about right for a man of this size. Standing at 7 feet tall and 300 pounds during his playing career, Jerome James played for three different teams during his nine-year career. It took James five years for him to get his feet wet in the league, temporarily that is. After averaging no more than 5.4 points per game and 4.2 rebounds in a given season of his career, Big Snacks ate up the competition in the 2005 playoffs with the Seattle Supersonics, putting up 12 points per game to go with 6 boards in 11 postseason games. This also occurred in his contract year, which caused the Knicks to, well, be the Knicks and throw a boatload of cash at the direction of James during free agency. Snacks inked a 5-year $30 million deal with New York and free agency, all to flop miserably in the subsequent years. When it's all said and done, at least the big man has plenty of cash to support his eating habits. Next up is Robert Tractor Trailer. You gotta love these nicknames. At 6'9 and a peak of 320 pounds, Robert Trailer was more like a freight train as opposed to a truck. Fittingly, Trailer began to gain traction as a hooper after becoming a McDonald's All-American, which then led to his commitment to Michigan State. The tractor was a sensation up north, averaging 16 points per game and 10 boards his junior year, highlighted by a game in which he shattered the backboard on a dunk. With the 6th overall pick in the 1998 draft, Trailer was selected by the Dallas Mavericks, who then traded his rights to the Bucks for Dirk Nowitzki in one of the most infamous trades in league history. Trailer's size did not translate to the league, averaging 4.8 points per game during his 7-year career. Unfortunately, the man known around the league as a gentle giant passed away at the age of 34 due to a heart attack in 2011. Next up is Michael Sweetney. This big man's tenure in the NBA was short and extremely sweet. At 6'8 and nearly 350 pounds, Michael Sweetney trailblazed his way into the league after a dominant collegiate career at Georgetown, including a junior year campaign that saw the big man evolve into a Naismith College Player of the Year finalist. Sweetney would go on to be selected with the ninth overall pick by the New York Knicks in the 2003 draft. And well, considering it's the Knicks, you can pretty much guess how that panned out. Sweets averaged 7 points per game in two seasons with the Knicks before being shipped away to Chicago in exchange for the next player on our list. And that player is Eddie Curry. There's a big difference between being heavy and overweight, and well, Eddie Curry was both for the majority of his career. Before Curry became a household name in the league, he actually wanted to become a gymnast. He was urged to go try out for the high school team, and after some discussion, he decided he'd give it a shot. That turned out to be a pretty good decision, as Curry went on to be named Mr. Basketball in the state of Illinois in 2001. Soon after, Curry declared himself eligible for the NBA draft, and the Bulls snagged him with the fourth pick. After a few seasons of youth development and rebuilding, a revitalized Chicago lineup broke into the scene and into the playoffs, led by none other than Eddie Curry and his 16 points per game. Before Curry could step foot in a postseason environment, he was hospitalized with an irregular heartbeat, most likely due to his reported peak weight of 350 pounds. This would mark an end to his tenure in Chicago, as he was shipped in the aforementioned deal to the New York Knicks. The big man slimmed down and bounced back, and actually found a heap of success in his first three years with New York, averaging 16 points per game in his first three years, before fizzling out due to other injuries. Although he did make a comeback in the league in the early 2010s with the Miami Heat and with a whole new build, shedding up to as much as 70 pounds. Well guys, that's going to do it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss another video. Thanks again, and we'll see you guys next time.